Hello, everybody. I am so sorry that I'm late. I've spent the last 15 minutes trying to get this to work. Um, I'm not sure what happened or what's going on, but I can see you're all here. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened with my webcam. Something weird happened with my webcam and my computer, and I have been trying to fix it, and it wouldn't fix. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. So I'm here now. We're here. And of course, I don't even have my like stuff all on my desk because I was busy trying to get everything fixed. And um, yeah, it wasn't working. So anyway, I'm flustered and I'm exhausted now because I couldn't get this stupid thing to work right. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are all here and hanging out. Um, and you've been chatting, which is awesome. I was, yeah, thank you, Heidi, for texting me. I was trying to fix it while, when I got Heidi's text. So I didn't text her back as quickly as I would have. So anyway, this is our project. Isn't this cute? I don't know how that, I hope the lighting is okay. And everybody who participated should have gotten one of these by, okay. So I feel like I need to back up and just say, if you're joining me on YouTube and you've never been on my YouTube channel before, this is my team meeting hangout. And we just kind of craft and make some fun stuff. And um, hey, Tracy in New Zealand. And so today we are making this really cute box with these tags. And this is from the Cookie Cutter Christmas collection. And um, so I'm super excited to put these together and make these tags. And then this box is from clearbags.com. They have a whole bunch of them. And what I did is I sent everybody who wanted to participate a strip of paper to go on top and a circle, whichever side you wanted to use. And then I printed out these really cute little um, papers that say Christmas tags. So thank you, Tracy. So what we did is we, <coughs> excuse me, is this too dark? Is that too bright now? Sorry guys, I'm trying to fix some lighting here for you. Is that better? I feel like it's very dark on like one side. I want to turn that off. Hold on. Ah, that's better. I think. You guys tell me. Okay. Um. Yeah, a little bit dark. I don't know. It might, might be this webcam. My webcam might be failing. I think it could be on the fritz. So if for any reason this just completely shuts down and like stops, that's why it's because my, it's because my webcam broke. So there's that. Okay. So I'll have to, I'm probably gonna have to order a new one. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So, um, everybody who purchased this kit from me for $5, got the box and all the ingredients to make the tags and then this cute little thing that goes on the top like that. So I'm not gonna show you every single little step, but I'm going to just show you this. So you would put this one down, then you put one of your circles and then the Christmas tags little sign. Now the fun thing about this is obviously there's only four tags and you see there's plenty of room to make more. So my thought was you could fill this up with fun tags. You didn't just have to do the four that I created. Okay. So. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the four tags. And everything was pre-cut or punched for my team, but not stamped. 
how cute are these? And then on the back, I stamped the two and the from. So this makes, this kit made four tags and the box. And I have to say, I feel like it was just such a cute kit, fun thing to do, and it would make a great gift. Like even if you, I'm thinking I'm going to make up a few of them. Let me get my snail. I'm going to make up a few of them and give them as gifts because I really think that, um, somebody would enjoy receiving a bunch of Christmas tags before Christmas. Don't you think I would, I would love that. So these framelits are the circle layering circle framelits. This is the largest scallop circle. And then this one is, I don't know which one it is. It's, it's the next size down from the largest scallop. Okay, so I have these, and then all I did, so that's the base, all I did was punch a hole in the top and put some thread through, and I'll show you how I did that. I don't have all my supplies in here where I'm doing the video because I was frantic trying to get my camera to work. So now I'm in here without all of my supplies to make my stuff. So. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna go with this. Okay, I I was working on this for a half hour before, working on getting the camera to work a half hour before we got online. Okay, so um, you just make a little loop and then you go back through and string it through like that. And then you have this open-ended um, string or twine here that you can tie a bow or tie it onto a gift or you could just leave it hanging off a gift however you wanted to do it <clears throat> these are little cookie cutter guys now if you don't have this stamp set you could do something really fun and just draw on one of them like a happy face or something and stick it on here i mean you could be creative you don't have to use the stamp set um yeah so um Tracy says, do you have any hints how to get a good image with a solid stamp? Yes, I do. Um, if you're using photopolymer stamps, yes, if you're using a photopolymer stamp, you need to use this little foam board. This is, Stampin' Up! sells this. This is the paper piercing mat. You lay it down. You put your image on top or your paper on top, and then you stamp your image. I don't understand the science behind it. I don't know why this works, but if you stamp on something like this, it makes your images come out perfectly that are solid images. So I hope that helps. Okay, so that's our make and take. I know this kind of sucks because I'm not stamping and showing you every little step, but I'm gonna play a game because that's fun because we did it last time and we had a blast. So I'm gonna get out my table topics game and we're gonna play a game because it's so fun. And I do want to give a huge shout out to all my team members and my customers and um, thanking them for working so hard and always and my customers for ordering for me because I did earn a spot in the top 100 globally, which was amazing. So that was pretty cool. Okay. Are you ready? Here's the first card. What would you love to find at a yard sale? What would you love to find at a yard sale? Chat in and let me know. <clears throat> the thing that I would love to find at a yard sale, besides crafting supplies, that's a given. Um, oh, thanks, Tracy. I would love to find um, old furniture like the distressed um, farmhouse style furniture. Currently, right now, I'm looking for a dining room table. So that would be amazing if I found a beautiful old dining room table at a yard sale that was like um, not, not distressed, but farmhouse style. Yay, Angela, me too. Old typewriter, old lace, 
things to hold my stamp supplies, two nightstands, an old spice cabinet, bookshelves, a misty. Oh my gosh, I'm loving your guys' answers. Okay, let's do another one. Apothecary chest, old wooden toys, nice artwork. Love it. Okay. Oh gosh, this could be a can of worms right here. What's the hardest thing you've ever done? A china set. Ooh, that would be a good one. Is that Myra? I'm assuming it's pronounced Myra. <coughs> Too sad. Okay, let's skip it. Um, okay, if you owned a boat, oh, this is a good one. If you owned a boat, what name would you choose for it? Hi, Tiffany. Yeah, I think a mouse pad would work. Try it and see. Lacey. Okay, if you owned a boat, what name would you use, would you choose for it? Luna. That's a good one. That means moon, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, Heidi. We had a boat that we put on the name on the side was the SS Minnow Killer. That was the name of it. That was our old boat. That is hysterical. SS Minnow. We did SS Minnow Killer. Sea Spray, China, Cat's Craft, Beautiful Lady. Ooh. Princess. You have one and can't decide what to name it. Um, so traditionally, I think you're supposed to put like a woman's name on a boat. Isn't that like... Oh my God, that's hysterical, Carlin. Sholzam. I think if I had a boat, well, I do have a boat. We have never named it. Um, I don't know. Sugar, that's a good one. River. Political frenzy. <laughs> um, that's funny. Now I'm thinking of all the political names I could put on the side of a boat that would be funny. Um, yeah, I don't know what I would name a boat. Oh, girl, that's it. The Rock. The SS Rock. That's it. That's what I would name my boat. Would you choose to be the worst player on a winning team or the best player on a losing team? Oh, this is a fun question. Trumped out. Okay, what would you guys choose? The worst player on a winning team or the best player on a losing team? Best player, best player. I don't really know. I think either one would kind of suck, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I probably would want to be the best player.
Okay, now tell me why. Why would you want to be the best player on a losing team or the worst player on a winning team? Because the, the answers are very mixed. So I'm curious why. Like what your thoughts are behind it. This is so fun. I love this game. Oh, this is going to be a loaded question. Which is more important, the respect of your children or your parents? <laughs> I love your guys' answers. You're cracking me up. Okay, what about this? I know, that's what I say to both. I want both. I want my kids, my child to respect me, and I want my parents to respect me. I'm thinking that's what it means, right? It's saying, it's saying, you, of who you would rather have the respect from. Um, I would probably have to say my child. I really don't need my parents to respect me anymore. Like, they're not going to always agree with me. In fact, they don't always agree with me. And, um, I respect them as parents, but I don't really need their respect. I need my child to respect me. I need her to, and I want her to. Yeah. I think if your kids respect you, it says a lot about you as a person. I'm going to guess. I don't know. My kid's eight. So at this point in her life, like, she just pretty much goes with the flow. But I really feel like I need her to respect me. Yeah, but you know, I think this is such a hard question because I think it all depends. Like, if you're really not around your parents a lot, maybe you're kind of estranged from your parents. Um, your kids may not see your parents. I don't know. This is a difficult question. Like, it has a lot of layers, I feel like. Let's go to another one. Maybe it'll be more fun. Sorry, my dog's barking. Oh, this is good. Is it more important to be book smart or street smart? I love this question. This game, Elizabeth, is called Table Topics. It is so fun. I love it. And every time we have a team meeting, we play it now. <laughs> because we have so much fun doing it. Yeah, I don't know. I agree with Lacey. I think this depends on your situation. I think if you're living in a situation where you could potentially potentially be harmed if you weren't street smart, then I think obviously street smarts would be the most important. But I think if you're, pro I don't know. I don't know. I think they're both important. I think street smart means common sense. Yes, Emily. And I actually have to say, a lot of people I think that are really, really, really smart, like book smart, sometimes lack common sense. It's very interesting. 
It's like you're gifted in one department or the other. You can't have both or something. <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, we're going to do one more. And then I have a photo to show you that's fun. Oh, this is a good one. Is science or art more essential to humanity? Oh, that's a really hard question for me. I think obviously science provides us medical, um, provides us medical ability, like furthers our medical advancement and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, science is important because it keeps you, I mean, it helps keep us alive. Like all the studies and everything that's been done to, to find um, ways to heal people and fix people's ailments. Um, but I could not live without art. Yeah. I feel the same way. Like I feel like creations and crafty and the like art makes our world beautiful. So I don't know. Yeah, that's how I feel, Catherine. If I had to choose like one or the other, I would probably say science just because we need, we have to have it to survive in a sense. Um, but I can't imagine my life without art. That would be so incredibly sad. It's such a gross place to live. Okay, so I have a photo to show you that's so cute. My cousin just came and visited from Montana and she went through a bunch of her mom's old pictures and she found this gem. Okay. So I want you guys to guess which child I am. <laughs> Can you guess which kid I am? I'm going to give you a minute. Which child am I? So this is my grandparents my grandpa um, and my grandma. And this would have had to have been in like 1986 or yeah, it would have had to have been 1986 because which girl in the red dress, the little girl or the baby? The one with the bottle, the one with the bottle, red sweater vest. So my this was 1986 and this was in my mom's house and um this was what i like to call the first five so the we are the first five um grandchildren that my grandparents had and then it was like 15 years later that my aunt had kids so there was a big gap so yes i am this one I'm the little girl in the red dress. I was five years old in this picture. And this is my sister, the one with the bottle. This is my cousin, Adam. That's my cousin, Amy, his sister. And then that's my cousin, Shannon, the one that I'm so close to. And I just thought this was the sweetest picture of the five of us. And it brought back so many good memories. And, you know, my grandma is really sick now. My grandpa's 93, but he's still with us. In fact, he called me this morning. I'm so sorry about my dog, you guys. Molly. Molly. So, yeah, that's us. That's the first five. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think that's a wrap on our session today. I know this was really, really weird team meeting. I am so sorry that it became such a disaster. Um, there's pictures on the web, my website, my love and stampin.com um, that has 
these in the photos so you can see how to put them together. I mean, they're super simple, right? They're two layers and then you just put the dimensionals uh, behind these guys after you stamp them and stick them on there. And so um, anyway, I'm super excited because our next team meeting is in December and it's going to be featuring brand new product from the occasions catalog. So you guys are going to get to do a make and take using brand new product. So I'm super excited about that. All right. Thanks so much for hanging with me today. I'm sorry about the technical issues in the beginning. I don't know what happened. I uh, may have to just get a new webcam. And um, I appreciate all of your patience and you guys hanging out with me. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.